security get him out of here. Oh my gosh. All right, welcome back everybody to cooking season three. Now, this is gonna be a great season for us. We got myself. <laughs> Master Chef Donnie, and we got Master Chef Seth. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting. We got Gordon Ramsay coming in today. He's gonna to try our food. So let's cut to Master Chef Seth. Clap for Seth. Let's go. Woo! Seth! Ah. 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 Oh, hey guys, Master Chef Seth here. <laughs> See me trying to curl the pants here, you know. Corona's going around, ain't got no gym, so I just gotta use what I have available to me. And these are some heavy duty pans right here. Like I said, I always use KitchenAid. They come in handy no matter if I'm cooking or if I'm lifting. Just wanna stay healthy. Alright, tonight on the episode we have Gordon Ramsay. He's gonna come in and taste a very special Italian dish we got. So let's get let's check it out. I'd like to introduce you to the essence of Italy. <laughs> the old world family recipes and cozy atmosphere. This place has only been open for two years. It looks like something from the 1970s. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. I'm ready for your order. What would you recommend? Recommendations. Uh, our special tonight is actually our homemade Hot Pockets. They're very delicious. OK, great. And I'll keep hold of the menu. I'm going to read on. OK, one order of Hot Pockets. I'll get the chefs on that right away and take, and take your time with the menu. My all right, I talked to the Gordon and Mr. Ramsay. He wants one order of the homemade hot pockets. I recommended it. Well, okay, I have an idea. Okay, grab a plate. So, I bought these earlier today. I was gonna have them for like lunch or whatever. Um, I All right, so, have this, take that out. So the secret to any great meal, frozen, store-bought, it's really all about um, it's really all about the presentation. Oh, the meal. If it looks like a five-star restaurant, then it'll taste like it too. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna Wow. Wow, you see that? And then you just wanna smother it. You just wanna put one of these on. You see, Hunt's sauce, um, you know, it has my favorite ingredients, basil, garlic, and uh, your oregano. Of course, non-GMO. We don't want Non-GMO. Add the cheese. And I think that'll be about good. All right, Seth, can you put that in the microwave for me, sir? I got you. I just put it in for about three minutes. How do you think he's gonna to react to that? Well, if it was me, I don't know. I like hot pockets, but this this guy's a chef, a real chef. Aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I would like it. But it's too British. Come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't know how British people react to this. Are there any more yeah. customers out there? Just him. There's just him. Just him. That's all he wanted? When's the last time we had customers in here? That's why he's here. Well, I think the hot pockets done. Why don't you go serve it to him? Okay. Perfecto. All right. Delicious. All right, welcome to the spice jar again. All right, what? So what do you think we need to make this look absolutely delicious? Taste Ooh. delicious. Taste delicious. I'm always throwing in bay leaves, which is what everything I cook. Um. It's all about presentation, you know what I mean? All about presentation. You just want a beautiful, a beautiful dish. It can almost be like anything, a palate. You also want, you also want to put some pepper in there, you know? A little bit of pepper. Oh. All right, um, what else do you want to put in there, Seth? Just a little pinch of rosemary. Wow. Maybe two pinches. Two pinches of rosemary. A little cinnamon just to give it a nice uh, sweet flavor. Just a little bit. And then uh, what else do you think we should put on? And just one more thing. And everyone always forgets about this, but white pepper will spice up 
any type of dish. And just finish it off right there and and then so it doesn't look like all the you know the spices are on top we're just gonna mix this up just mix it around and there you go <clears throat> all right seth would you mind uh taking that out to him of course all right let me know what he thinks Okay, Mr. Rams, we got the homemade hot pocket for you, just especially from the chefs. It's doing a little bit extra for you there. I'll be back to see how to see how it tastes. I can't really identify any flavors because it's just absolutely piping hot, almost like it's being nuked in the microwave for three minutes. Hey, Mr. Ramsey, how's the hot pocket? The cheese is um, hideous. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll let the chefs know right away. Okay, well, he tried the food. And it was it was not a good reaction whatsoever. What did he say? He did not like it. He said the cheese was utterly hideous, in his words, and that the sauce was more bland than a glass of water. <laughs> Whatever that means. What? Dude, uh, he said the bread was baked six years ago or something. Are you sure he said all this? I'm sure. Um. Uh, hey guys, Gordon wants to talk to us. He, uh, in his words, is infuriated and disgusted. You sit on the back of the menu, step into Giuseppe's, and I'm going to take you through a romantic, authentic restaurant in Italy. I like the passion, but the palate's for. Um. Well, what do you think of the hot pocket? Bland, milky, spongy, and then piping hot in the middle, like it had been blasted in the microwave. It was. It was? Yes, it was cooked in the microwave. So you don't bake them fresh? No, no, sir, we don't make them fresh here. Listen, Gordon, we did a questionnaire, and we got 7.5 billion responses. None of them bad. Why don't you like it? Where the f*** are they, then? You don't need questionnaires. They don't ring you up, say, by the way, I'm not coming back. They just don't come back. They vote with their feet. I'm not asking for excuses. I'm here to help. But everything I'm saying, all you're doing is firing me bull excuses. Don't bull me, and I won't bull you. Do you understand? The food's crap, guys. I thought I had a job to do, but now it's just become 10 times bigger. That's true. I'll see you later on this afternoon. <laughs> Giuseppe may have been born in Italy, but he's certainly not delivering Italian authentic cuisine. He may say it on the back of the menu, but he's not delivering in flavor. That's for sure. Unbelievable. Two things I can definitely confirm. The first thing is they're fast. Unfortunately, too fast for their own good. The second thing is when they're fast, they're sloppy. Over 12 dishes have come back, and this place is about to explode. Unbelievable. So how's your food? Um, I don't know if I like this too much. Oh, it's, it's not good? It's a little bit too lemony. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. 
food. Guys, the customers are complaining. They're saying the food's dirty, tastes terrible, bland, almost tastes like came off the ground. What, what's that all about? I don't know. Just, I don't know. Yeah, so, so what do I tell them? Just tell them that... Alright, got it. Alright. Closing time. I think we can go see what Mr. Ramsey thinks about the service tonight. Yeah, we're done. Uh, let's go see what he has to say. Right. That was tough. We've got ourselves in a real horrible rut cooking in that kitchen because it's just slamming food. I've never seen so much food go in a microwave in all my life. It's like no one's striving to be better. You tell me how you feel about the frozen food. Oh, personally, I don't mind frozen food, honestly. As long as it's cooked right, I'll, I'll eat it. This, this guy, a good chef. And what's his weaknesses? His weak points, I mean, he's not committed to the place. That, I mean, he's not always here. Why haven't you been committed? Why am I not committed here? I mean, if this is, it's not like this is the only restaurant I work at. I got other restaurants I got to cook at. Duh. I'm a master chef. We've got our cards out on the table. Now I want to see the passion. I want to see that little bit of flame relit. The light's back on. Okay. All right, we got three specials and one of Jemaya's favorite. Let's get it started. All right, so there's three specials. Just, you know, simple uh, homemade corn dogs. Yeah, we fry them here ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so those are in the freezer. Or actually, they're sitting right there. Go ahead and get started on those. I'll start on the J-Fave. Jemaya's fave. All right, got the Jemaya's favorite going. Uh, so someone take this out. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Oh, right now we're making some of the special uh, corn dogs that we fry in store. We just gotta get the fryer going. And I'll uh, just go back to Jamaya for now. Uh, all right, so as Seth's frying those, um, <coughs> as Seth's frying that, uh, we're just gonna look at some other tickets. So what do we got here? Okay, so pretty easy stuff. All right, so we'll get that going. Donnie, order up! Three specials. Three specials. Nice and fried. Good evening, guys. Can I take your order? I haven't even gotten my food yet. I want to leave. Can I get you uh, something else, though? We waited an hour for our food. Now I'm sitting here 20 minutes waiting for raw fish. You're going to walk out. We don't even want it. Okay. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves it except one lady. What do you mean? She doesn't like it. Why not? It's, she says it's bland, still dry. Oh you know what I blame this on? I blame this on you, Gordon Ramsay. Coming to me looking for excuses. I'm not making excuses. You just said you blame me, huh? What a f***ing idiot. Whatever. Both being this together, right? The cement mixer. Customer, what they think? What the overall? How was it? Uh, they thought it was great. They thought it was much improved. They loved it. You're in the books for the day. Anything you gotta say? No, I could actually say today's the first time in a long time we made a profit. Well, I mean, let's go see what Gordon Ramsay has to say. From the first minute I walked in here. We have come a long way. Good night. Alright, all right, see you, Gordon. Uh, that was quick. It's wow, gonna be nice, huh? Yeah, I thought you were gonna say more. Uh, any last words before we go? Uh, nothing really besides stay tuned because this is only the beginning. 
Don't forget to leave a we're gonna, like we're, and subscribe. We're, we're going to keep you entertained. We're going to make you laugh. So. All right, well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. See ya.